I want you to place your left foot on that imaginary line with your right foot in front, touching heel to toe, just like I am. Man, I'm arrested right now. Down there to the police department. Okay. Down mm -hmm. here. I believe you. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, what are you going to school for? Pretty bad. <laughs> so you are very smart, is what you're telling me. Yeah. Not right now, I guess. <laughs> I've been beat up by more girls than... I've never been fucking hit before. Okay. Ain't no laws when you're drinking <laughs> claws, right? Oh. oh, damn it. I hate it when it happens. Hi. Hello. Hello. Stops being recorded. Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? I'm sorry, I just got my new license, but okay. I have my old one. Okay. All right. Do you have your registration proof and insurance? Is this all current? Uh, yeah. The insurance? My insurance is like online. That's fine. Eh. All right. So do you know why I'm stopping you tonight? No. So that intersection that you came through? Yeah. Right? You stopped right in the middle of the intersection? What was the stop sign? In the middle, right? You almost, I had to stop because I thought you were going to go through it. I was stopping at the stop sign. That's and then you went right through it, right in front of me, right? When I had the right of way? I just thought you were stopped there, like looking at the frat. No. Okay. All right. So do you have the insurance? So how old are you? Um, I'm 20. 20? Okay. I love it. <laughs> All right. So how much alcohol you had tonight, Kate? Um, I didn't drink tonight. None whatsoever? No. Okay, so what's that odor I'm smelling? I do have alcohol in the car. You do have alcohol? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just driving her home. Okay, how old is she? Um, she's 22. She's 22? my roommate. Okay. All right. Keep working on that insurance. Sorry, my mom sent it to me before. I do have insurance, but I really, like, I don't know how to find it. Uh, like, on... She hasn't sent me, like, an actual insurance card, and I okay. have it, like, saved on my computer, but I... Okay, Kate. All right. So, hey, let me check your eyes real quick. Keep your head straight. Look at my finger only, okay? With your eyes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Just follow my top of my finger with your eyes only. Do you understand? Okay. okay. All right, so when's the last time you had alcohol? Um, about two hours ago. Two hours ago, what'd you have? A white claw. A white claw? Yeah. Okay, is that it? Yeah. Okay, all right, give me a second, I'll be right back out with you. Hey, what's up? Walking the whole fucking road. Wow, you just dogged me. She, so she like, she came hauling through that intersection and like stopped like right in the middle of the intersection. And I'm like, I had to stop. And then I'm like, well, just continue since you already went through it. And then she went through and then I stopped her. I'm like, geez, that's not safe. But not drunk? Oh, she's under 21 and had alcohol. So we'll see where that goes. Are you going to do the fields with her? Yeah. Cool. I will do the fields. You want me to help you? You want to hang out? Yeah, sure, if you want to. My, my rider would probably like to see him. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So there's alcohol on the uh, passenger side. She said that the passenger's 22. Okay. Where are you gonna it's right here. Hey, Kate, hop out. I'm gonna talk to you. All right, let's just go, what? Mm -hmm. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go no, here on the sidewalk. Mom to get my too. Okay, so couple things okay you admitted to having alcohol okay 
You're under 21 years of age, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and I saw some uh, clues. Okay. I'd like to go through some voluntary tests with you. Make sure you're okay to drive. Okay. okay. I just don't want you getting hurt. Okay. Yeah. That's my big thing. I care about people, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna have you do a stand on the sidewalk. Okay. For, so for this first test, what I'm gonna have you do is stand with your feet together, arms down to your side like you're in the military. I want you to remain in that position while I give you the instructions for this test. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Do you have any problems walking, standing, or turning? My ankle sprint. Your ankle sprint. Okay, are you wearing a... <laughs> yep, you are. That's actually why I'm going home early. <laughs> okay. Do you have any problems with your eyes? Do you wear contacts or glasses? Yeah. You do. Okay, do you have them in right now? Yeah. Okay. They're a little low. I need to go back to get them checked again. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'll just... Keep... Do you have any problems seeing nearsighted or anything like that? Um, yeah, I'm nearsighted. Okay, so you can see perfectly. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's what I need to know. Okay, so for this test, it's important for you to understand your ability to follow my instructions are just important as the test themselves, okay? It's also important for you to understand, do not start any of the test until I finish explaining, demonstrating, and telling you to begin the test, okay? Mm -hmm. So for this first one, what I have you do is look at the top of my pen with your eyes only. I just want you to follow it side to side. Do you understand? Okay. All right. Equal people size. <laughs> just don't move your head, okay? All right. Yeah, go up. All right, so for this next one, okay, I'd like you to imagine a straight line out in front of you. Okay. Once you place your left foot, Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. you're fine. I want you to imagine a straight line out in front of you. I want you to place your left foot on that imaginary line with your right foot in front, touching heel to toe, just like I am. I want you, this will be the starting position. Go ahead this and get in that. a hard one for me, like my ankle. Okay. All right. So, this will be the starting position, okay? So once I tell you to begin, you're going to look down at your feet. You will take nine heel to toe steps out while looking down at your feet, taking nine heel to toe steps. Okay? I will demonstrate that. It will look like this. One, two, three. Once again, I did three. You'll do nine. Okay? It's important to keep in mind. We'll go ahead and get back in that starting position, okay? There you go. All right. Once you reach the end of your ninth step, take a series of small steps around your lead foot and return to the same fashion you came. One, two, three. Once again, I did three, you'll do nine. It's important to keep in mind while doing these tests. Look down at your feet, count your steps out loud, keep your arms out your side. Once you start the test, do not stop until you finish. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, uh, nine steps forward, nine steps back. Yeah. All right, do you understand the instructions? Yeah. All right, you may begin. Code four, out testing. Sorry, my ankle does hurt very badly. Okay. What? All right. So here's another one I'll provide you. Okay. Completely really voluntary, not lose the evidence your breath titles, Okay. You said your last drink was two hours ago? Yeah. <sighs> and it was just one? Yeah. yeah Alright, deep breath in. Blow. Go, 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 go! Stop! Alright, so do you know what the legal limit for somebody who's under 21 is? I don't. So it's .02. Okay.
So you're a point one, okay? You are over that legal limit for a regular DUI too, okay? So you are under arrest for DUI at this time, okay? Oh, okay. It's wrong. Oh, never even like Step to Paul six, PBT point one zero zero. Am I actually being arrested right now? Yes, you are under arrest. I did tell you. So what's going to happen is I think he's going to take you down oh. to the police department. Oh, okay. Down mm -hmm. here. Do you know where that is? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to take you down um, there. I'm thinking. I don't know. Yep. for the county. Can someone move my car? It's going to stay here for the night. Yeah. It's fine it's right fine. here. Can we I won't lock get... it? Yep. Yes. Yes, that's the goal. So do you have any... Step out of there, whatever you need. Yeah, what do you want your phone? Get it out of wallet. my pocket. Where? I'm going to put my keys in my pocket. Okay. We'll have to get out of there. Do you want your phone, your phone, do you want your wallet, anything like that? It's okay. That way you can call somebody. Uh, yeah, I have my key. Can I leave this stuff I've here? never been pulled over before. Can I leave this in your car? Um, yeah. You don't? Yes, please. Okay. And you want your phone, right? Yes, I want my phone. Your key is not in your pocket. Yeah. Is it in the car? It's... It's in the middle console right there. Um, yes, please. Except Paul 6 1 It's right there. What is? Yeah. Sorry. No, can you walk it? I gotta turn it on. Just to the window up. There, so there's traffic like all the way. Okay. I will. Alright, let's go. Okay, shut the door. Bye, Skyler. Alright, come back here to my car. I'm sorry, my ankle is sprained, so this yeah. hurts. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay. So I'm just gonna have you get in my car right now. Okay. There was a marijuana pipe? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna advise you your rights, okay? You have the right to make sound. Anything you say can be used against you to quarrel law. You have the right to the presence of attorney during questioning. You can afford an attorney, won't be appointed for you prior to question if you so desire. So at any time I exercise your rights. I'm making statements or answering questions. Do you understand the rights I explained to you? Kate, you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes or no? It's yes or no. Do you understand what I said? What does that mean? I don't want to say anything until I speak to my mom. Okay, well that's not a factor right now, okay? okay. So, all right, her car is secure. I think so. Is it? Yep, lights yeah. Where are my yep. keys? Okay, no. keys. Am I able to hold and you got her phone? Things? What? No. She has her phone. She has her phone? Where's that at? I don't know. She's I'm not able it. to hold my phone? No. <laughs> you are in custody right now. All right, thank you. Yep. Hop out. I'm sorry, I did just sprain my ankle. Like, it's okay. I, genuinely... I believe you. I believe you. Take it easy. Take it easy. Do you think you can walk over that or no? No. So we'll walk around. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead and move. I'm sorry, I was sitting down in my dress. That's yeah, okay. Take your time. I am recording, okay? Just so you know. Let's go this way. So do you want me, I'm gonna hold you and make sure you don't fall, okay? There's some icy spots, take your time. I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? If you need to take a break, let me know, okay? You play sports? I used to. <laughs> yeah, what'd you do? 
I'm cheerleading. Cheerleading, that's a tough sport. I had a bunch I of did friends. sports cheer. I feel like you said that sarcastically. No, that's a tough sport. Like my sister did it. I did competitive cheerleading. Yeah, that's tough. I can't do all those twists and flips and back flips. If I did that, I'd probably break my neck. What made you stop? Um, just school. School? Busy. Yeah, what are you going to school for? Um, <laughs> general biology. Pretty what? bad. <laughs> so you are very smart, is what you're telling me. Yeah, not right now, I guess. <laughs> so we don't know anything right now, okay? Just so you know. All right. So I'm going to have you walk through this door right here. You're going to wait for me on the other side. Do you understand? Wait for me on the other side, okay? All right, come, come on, Kate. All right, if I take you out of handcuffs, you promise not to beat me up? Ow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You promise. I'm going to take your word on it, okay? You got those nails. I'm afraid of those. I've been beat up by more girls than... Oh, was I that scary? I thought it was pretty nice. I didn't think you were pretty nice, but the handcuffs were scary. The police car was scary. Yeah? I've never even been pulled over before. Alright, have a seat right there, Kate. So, I'm going to read you some stuff. Where at in California are you from? We're in California? Yeah. North Hall? Oh, that's, that's the lame side. The lame side? I'm from, I'm from Southern. Uh, I would agree. Southern California is a little better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get situated. I didn't even want to go out tonight. You didn't? <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to reach up to you, okay? <sighs> DUI arrest report. On the state, time, and location I had, of this arrest, I had authority to arrest pursuant to my agency's jurisdiction, RCW 1093. Constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you're under the age of 18, anything you say can be used against you in a juvenile court prosecution for a juvenile offense can also be used against you in an adult court criminal prosecution if the juvenile court decides that you're tried as an adult. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You decide to exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? I have read or had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights, and I understand these rights. It's asking for your signature. I don't really want to sign any of these things, but I don't like understand what that means. So you can read it yourself, or I can read it again. So then, what if I'm if I have the right to an attorney? Then I can call you an attorney. Is that you what you want? Call me an attorney? Like... Do you want one? It's up to you. I've never been in a situation like this. Right. And so I can't provide you any legal advice because I'm a police officer. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do my job. Okay? So it sounds like you want to talk to an attorney. Which is completely fine. It won't make me mad. Okay? It's your right. It's your citizen. As a citizen. Okay? So what I'm going to do is put you in contact with an attorney, okay? Does that sound right? Does that sound fair? All right, let's go sit in that room right there, okay? I'm gonna get one on the phone. No worries, it's, it's your right. 
and it's my job to respect that, okay? Thank you. All right. You can have this chair right here. I don't need it. <laughs> Hello, is this Roger? Hey, this is uh, Deputy Alcantar with the Women County Sheriff's Office. How you doing, Roger? Hey, I have a young lady that wants to speak to you. I have a lady who is under arrest for DUI. She would like to speak to you. Can I hand her the phone? Okay. It's, it's Roger Sandberg. You done? All right, come on, guy. All right. I'm sorry, am I able to use the restroom too? No, not right now. Okay, well, whatever I can. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that point, okay? So, at the date, time, location of this arrest, I had authority to arrest pursuant to my agency's jurisdiction, RCW 1093, constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to, 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 at this time to talk to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you're under the age of 18, anything we say can be used against you in a juvenile court prosecution for a juvenile offense. It can also be used against you in an adult court criminal prosecution if the juvenile court decides that you be tried as an adult. You have the right to talk to an attorney for answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, it will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. Okay. Exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? I have read or had read to me the public explanation of my constitutional rights, and I understand these rights. Asking for your signature. Okay. Yep. I understand my constitutional rights. I've decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are freely, voluntarily, without threats or promise of any kind. I'm going to sign it. Okay. Implied consent warning for your breath. Warning, you're under arrest for RCW 4661-502 or 7 I have read the above statement to the subject. Going to sign I have read or had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights. Or, I have read or read to me the above statement, sorry. All right, so this is the big one. Will you now submit to the breath test? If yes, mark yes and initial next to it. Here? Yep. All right, did you have any confusion? No. If no, mark no and initial next to that. All right, Kate, this is the hardest part of the test. You ready for it? Yep. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything in your mouth? Huh? Uh, do you chew tobacco? No. Do you smoke weed? No. Do you chew weed? No. Okay. So nothing's in your mouth, right? Uh, okay. All right. So you cannot touch your face for the next 20 minutes. This is going to be the hardest part. I'm serious. Is that actually a thing? Yes. Why? Because people <laughs> think that they can beat the test by sticking pennies in their mouth, Tic Tacs, they do mouthwash, they chew on their hair, can't touch your face. Oh, sorry. See, I told you it's oh, hard. Oh, that's a hard one. I told you. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm serious. All right. <clears throat> so the state of Washington comes up with these questions for me to ask you, okay? I do not make these up, these are terrible. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. 
All right. Do you have any physical impairments? Physical impairments? Oh, yes. What, like my eyesight? Ankle? Yeah. <laughs> Do you limp? Yes. <laughs> Are you sick or injured? I'm not sick. No. Are you under the care of a doctor or a dentist? I told you I don't know what that means, so. Um, no, not currently. Okay. Good. Is a primary physician? <laughs> Are you diabetic or epileptic? No. All right. This is a big question. Cocaine. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Marijuana. No. You did have a marijuana pipe in the driver's door. I I do smoke, but I did not tonight. Not tonight. Okay. Do you understand you're not supposed to have that? Yes. Okay. So. When we get to a point, you may want to fix that later, okay? Yeah. So, no more driving with that stuff, okay? Same thing with alcohol. Yeah. Okay? Do you have impaired vision? Yes. <laughs> Do you wear contacts or corrective lenses? Yes. Yes. Where are you wearing them right now? Yes. Where do you work? Um, I don't have a job currently. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Not very much. I've been studying for a really long time. Um, what do you think? Five hours. Five hours. That's pretty good. Yes. I yeah. got I got a newborn, so. <laughs> All right. Were you driving the vehicle? Yes. All right. Anything mechanically wrong with the vehicle? Not that I know of. <laughs> Have you been involved in any collisions? Um, no. This is all what you think, by the way, okay? So I don't get offended. Hey, have you had any alcohol to drink since being stopped? So I didn't, have I given you any alcohol? All right, good, because I would have been fired off of that question. All right. All right, where were you going before being stopped? Um, I was going home. Home. Without looking, what time do you think it is? About 1 a.m. It's pretty damn good. <laughs> 116. Oh, I did good. <laughs> All right, what street or highway were you on? I know what fraternities I was in front of. I don't know what the street's called. Um, Just say a street. It's okay. Aren't these Campus Street? That's Campus Street. So not close to it. Campus Street. I like it. <laughs> All right, direction of travel north, south, east, west. You got a 25% chance of getting this. Northeast. Northeast. I like it. I was totally going, yeah, no, I was going that way, but I'm close. <laughs> where did you start from? What do you mean? Like, where did you start driving from? Oh, um, the street, directionally, but directly next to it. Next to it. That was my first left turn. <laughs> Sounds like you're doing NASCAR. <laughs> All right, what time did you start driving? 12.45. Uh, that seems like a good guess. All right. <laughs> what day of the week is it? Friday. Friday. What city and county are you in? Don't look at my vest because that'd be cheating. <laughs> Pullman, Whitman County. How'd you know that? <laughs> What's today's date? January. Oh, that's a hard one. 16th? I would have never gotten that. Is honestly. it actually? No. No. 22nd. Yeah. What's the year? <laughs> 2022. See, I would have screwed that up too. I almost did. All right. Have it's you been? January. Have you been drinking alcoholic beverages? I had one drink. One drink. You're sticking to it. All right. What have you been drinking? It was a white claw. White claw. You're sticking to white claw. Ain't no laws when you're drinking <laughs> claws, right? I guess so. All right. How much? One. I told you I don't make up these questions. <laughs> All right, when did you start? Ten. I think it's about ten. All right. Who have you been drinking with? Friends. Friends. I actually had somebody start listing off people. I'm like, hey, don't be a snitch <laughs> now. All right. Where were you drinking? Just a house. Yeah. Time of last drink, 10? Yeah. All right. Do you believe your ability to drive was affected by your alcohol and or drug usage? 
Got it. Have you ever been arrested for DUI before? All right. So now we just got to sit and chat, okay? And wait until the time elapses during the observation time. So. Well, I don't think I was that scary. I thought it was pretty I don't nice. Think you're very scary, but being pulled over always scares me. But <laughs> you said you've never been stopped before. I've never been stopped before. I've one time. One time. Oh, here I we go. Over. What well, was that for? Well, they let me go because I forgot to turn my lights off. It was pretty much the same thing. I like turned on one street and I forgot to turn my lights on when I was going down. Mm. -hmm. So you forgot to turn your lights on. I did. Mm. All right. How was that cop? Where was that at? That was a nice cop, but it was still very scary. Where was that at? Um, I think it's like down the road. Same city? It was in Pullman. Okay. Old cop, young cop, skinny cop, what? I don't really remember. Don't remember? It's very dark out. Yeah. It's pretty dark out tonight, too. It was. But, but I think I'll remember you. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> All right. It's so not funny. I know. But, so you did competitive cheer in high school. How'd your team do? It did good. Yeah? You guys winning trophies? Yeah, got first place votes. <laughs> really? So have you ever heard of a high school called Ukaipa? Ukaya? Ukaipa. Not Ukaipa. They won a lot of national, can't touch your face. Sorry. See, I told you this is the hardest test ever. I had a really bad day today. Why <laughs> is that? Like the cherry on top. Why did you have a bad day? Let's hear it. I had a 7.45 a.m. lab, and I went to it, and then I got a parking ticket. You got a park? <laughs> oh, those guys. They get me, too. I got a parking ticket, and then I came home with my coffee, and my cat spilled it over. I was like, no coffee. Where would you get the coffee from? Starbucks. Oh, you got to go to that local it was place. It a $5 coffee. That is super expensive. <laughs> it is really expensive. You gotta go to like that Gypsy Java. They're pretty good. <laughs> I've never had that. They're pretty good. Um, it's super weird not being able to wipe tears. I'm yes. trying my best here. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. The girl I rested last they, time. Like, air dry. <laughs> yes. So the girl I rested last time for DUI, she told me she witnessed the murder. So I don't think you're gonna top that. So either. No. That's a lot worse. I'm, I'm glad that it was enough to me. It was the one here in Pullman. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. I lived on the but she was a life. witness. So we ended up she ended up maybe helping a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. I hope she did. Were you there? I was right down the street. I did hear the shots. You did? I did. <laughs> We're you were just down the street from well, your I live on the street, which is, like, it's the two roads down. Really? Yeah. Did you see anything? I didn't see anything, but it was really loud. And I remember sitting there. It was, like, a night that I didn't go out. And I was like, wow. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I just heard, like, the, well, the fire, firefighters. Cops. Did you go outside or see anything? No? <laughs> go outside. I don't know. I mean, some people are weird like that. My first thought was fireworks, though. It's Pullman. And oh, really? Just getting home. I don't know. Fireworks made sense to me. Okay. Yeah. But then I started getting all the texts, and then I got on, like, the Pullman PD. Oh, yeah. And listened to the radio. I didn't know that you could do that until then. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Too, all too often, though, on 4th of July and New Year's, people say, <laughs> I hear gunshots, and I'm like, it's fireworks, like, clearly. <laughs> like, no, I swear I know it's gunshots. And we're like, it's fireworks. Like, I was just there. I feel like that was just my mind, just, like, the safer. But, I want to believe it. I wanted to believe it was fireworks. Oh, I you really did? did? Okay. I've so, gone shooting with my dad before, though, so oh, yeah? like, that's a familiar sound. What would you shoot? Um, I totally don't remember. I know it was a rifle. What's your favorite? Was it your favorite? Do you like it? It hurt really bad. What? It's a little weak. Oh my gosh. I have a gosh. weak shoulder. <laughs> yeah, my dad would have the same reaction. What? <laughs> no. Oh. So, when we get ready to do this, okay, what you're going to do is take a deep breath in when I tell you to go. So, I'm going to put one of these fresh mouthpieces in. I'm going to put it in. You're going to lean forward and you're going to take a deep breath in. Ah. <gasps> uh, uh,
and you're going to make a good seal around the tube and then provide a steady breath sample. Okay, don't try to blow it out of my hand. Don't just try to do a little bird blow, okay? Provide a steady sample of breath, okay? It does not tell me what your BAC is. It just tells me how hard you're blowing. So it just has a little line inside, blow, like you need to blow harder or lower or whatever it may be. And then I'll coach you through it. So I'll like, keep going, keep going, keep going until we get to that point that it stops. We'll do that twice. So when we're ready, I'll enter in the information. It, it'll, it'll do its thing internally, do our internal check. And then when it's ready to say, have the subject low, which I will do. Um, and then when it's done, it'll print everything out and then we'll see the results of it together. Okay? We don't know what it is. Okay. I've actually never even taken a breathalyzer test. Really? I gave me my first breathalyzer test in. Yeah? <laughs> well, I'll say you did first handcuffs, first. <laughs> well, happy Friday. Yeah. Well, it's never fun, okay? But yeah. you know, it's one of those things I like to keep people safe, okay? And just because this happened doesn't mean you're a bad person, okay? <laughs> Nothing says you're guilty either, okay? It's just a process and an investigation. We don't know what's going on yet, okay? Um, so don't get worked up about it. We don't, I just got to do my investigation to that point. I think I'm an easy crier. <laughs> That's all right. Me too. I cry. Can you imagine me crying? What do you think it would look like? Do you think I'm a pretty crier or an ugly crier? <laughs> It's a good question. I've never been asked that one before. <laughs> good. I like to keep it interesting. Am I able to pee after the breathalyzer test? Yes. I'm guessing I wasn't allowed to pee because it yeah. affected it. Okay. I did have to pee before I even got in the car, so this is a little miserable for me. Yes. So, yeah, just in the future, though, um, anytime you have alcohol, don't drive, okay? Um, you know, get a ride, uh, call an Uber walk home. I mean, pretty much everywhere in Pullman is walking distance, right? Um, just want you to be safe. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I mean, collisions, right, are a big thing. People get hurt and killed all the time. And it's just unnecessary, and it's easily avoidable, okay? So, um, I really, I mean, this could go anywhere from here, okay? But just, you know, as a word of advice, just want you to be safe, okay? And make safe driving practices in the future. You know, I'd hate to see the world lose a future doctor for I what? I so. A foot doctor? <laughs> I've always wanted to be a pediatrician. Oh, a pediatrician. Yeah. Those are amazing. <laughs> we'll see where I go. We, we love all of our pediatricians that we see. <laughs> and we have some good ones here. Are you going to go back to California, though? I might. You I might really? Go back to Seattle. Ooh, Seattle. I'm a little sick of it. Really? Well, I just grew up there. That's what I did. I had decided. A long California run. So I went to football. I played football at Eastern, and Eastern Washington. Yeah. yeah. And then I fell in love with the area, and I was like, oh, I'm never going back. <laughs> so, me and my wife decided to stay up here. We love it. Good, yeah, good people, good area. It's a small town. Yes, it's not all busy. Everybody knows, you know how how California is. Yeah. And then the taxes are less. So you don't know about it right now, but when you do, you'll love it. I so, always wonder. So we don't pay state income tax, which is nice. That is nice. It's actually California. Yes. We're up here. Yes. Yes. My parents are still there. They do not. California. Yes. North Carolina. So. work. I thought they were BAC. So they're not admissible in court. It just confirms or denies my suspicions. So point one? That's, mm, that's pretty high. Well, yeah, I do know it's that's zero. high, but well, point zero two is the legal limit for someone who's under 21, yes. Yeah. So all it does is confirm or deny my suspicions. It's not admissible in court, but you being under 21, uh, Right, I smelt it on you. I 
I saw your eyes, they're bloodshot and watery. You initially denied having any alcohol. You said it was your passenger. Um, but I could clearly tell otherwise because when you started talking, it went straight to my nose. And then once I challenged you on it, you admitted to having a drink of alcohol two hours ago. And then when I checked your eyes, I saw a lack of smooth pursuit. It looks like I'm a very anxious person. I feel like that is something that was like, my ADHD. So I have ADHD. You could tell me to follow a finger so I have ADHD as well. And so what that is, is an involuntary jerking of the eyes that comes from alcohol consumption. You cannot control that. So what it looks like, and what I describe it to people as, is like your windshield wipers, when you do them on a dry windshield, you know how they kind of click? Yeah. That's what it looks like when you've been drinking alcohol and you're impaired. Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I have like slight twitches normally. Twitches normally. <laughs> All right. So. I have like weird impulses. Like my right eye twitches every once in a while. I don't know. Is it from too much caffeine? Like your eyelid? I do drink a lot of caffeine. That's what that usually comes from. That's worrying me. So maybe drink less caffeine. But then I always want to sleep. <laughs> caffeine keeps me awake. Yeah. Try not to touch your face, okay? Oh, sorry. That's the hard part. I told you this is the hardest part about this whole test. It's hard. Of course you're not going to scan. I wouldn't expect it. I do have a new license. I just got it in the mail. It's the This thing, it doesn't like to scan for some reason. It's just... I don't know. Is that even something you guys can see? That I just got a new... No? I can see it. Right? 9, 20... Well, that one's expired, but I do have a new ID. Oh, okay. Just... Right now on my desk, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Data processor. What is that? <laughs> That's the internal checks that it's doing on itself. Like I said, deep breath in. Deep breath in. And good seal and blow. Go, go, keep going, go, 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 keep going, keep going, go, 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 keep going, go, go, higher, harder, harder, go, 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 keep going, go, 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 keep going, and stop. Things monkey proof. It tells me to remove the mouthpiece. <laughs> Keep your hands away from your face. It's gonna do another internal check. These things are not exactly... They're not meant to be fun, I <laughs> No, they're not meant to be fun. They're meant to hold people in there, mm -hmm. you know.
Yeah. Getting over a cold. You're getting over a cold. You had COVID. I'm, I don't know. I didn't go get tested, but I might. Oh, you might. All right. <laughs> it's almost hard to find testing now in Poland. Really? They're always out of them. Oh, uh, if you go to like. The I've tried to when I get sick. They have like CVS drive-through. What about the one in here at Sids, the Pullman Hospital? When you go, you just have to, you have to call and make an appointment, and they have to like. Or what about the? Give you the, like oh, green light, like. Oh. oh, you have symptoms. I don't know. But at that point, I just had to wait for a whole appointment first. Go 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 go
So your car is secured where we left it, okay? Can I get a parking ticket there? I so can. No. No? Okay. No, so when they look... It was illegally parked. Yes. So, not the greatest place to park, mm -hmm. but when they look it up in our system, they'll see that you were contacted there, so... They would. Okay. So, we will be going to the jail tonight, okay? I'm staying there? Yes. You will be booked My attorney in. told me that I would be able to go home tonight. So, do you have the ability to bail out? How much is that? $500. I have to stay overnight. So depending upon, I have to continue my investigation, right? I have to do a criminal history check. All right. So you just did a breath in my face, but it's okay. Uh, um, so I'm going to do a criminal history check. And if you have never been arrested for DUI, you'd have the ability to bail out tonight and call a friend to pick you up, okay? And it's usually about five hundred dollars. If that what you're telling me is true, and you've never been arrested for DUI, so I don't like to make promises, but you know sometimes people tell me that they've never been arrested for DUI and they have. Huh? Yes, of course. So right here. Those are yours. Do you have pockets or no? Yeah, fold those up, stick those in your pockets. There's a restroom right here with the toilet. And I will shut the door behind you. Um, am I not able to make a call for like, <laughs> if I'm supposed to- We can call your mom. I don't know how that works. We can call your mom. <laughs> like now. <laughs> yeah, we'll call on the way to jail. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna shut the door behind you, okay? You done? All right. Going back in handcuffs, so fold that stuff up, put it in your pocket. So if I put you in handcuffs in the front, you can act out. You don't have to worry about you trying to fight me or anything. Okay, sounds good. So I'll put them in the front, make it easy for you, okay? The lock? Oh, what's the lock? Oh, oh you just poke something. On the handcuffs? That. Yeah. So that is to keep them from getting tighter so they don't cut off circulation to your wrist. That's, That's great. Yeah, no worries. All right, come on. So how do you do that to your ankle? Uh, it's, not nice. it's not fun. You and me both. <laughs> we're always doing that. All right. Let's just walk down here and we'll walk around. All right. Let me see your arm. Just so, because you, you're in custody, I just don't want to cheat a fall. Because <laughs> then you would sue me, and then I would lose everything I had. That looks. Where are we going? Oh, wait. We're going to my know. car. I thought you were making me go across the snow. No, we're going to my car. <laughs> okay. All right, put your arm back. Arm back. Right. There you go. Perfect. I just don't want to go forward. Drive to somewhere else? Yes, we're going to Colfax. Colfax? Yep. <laughs> that little speed trap town? Step to Paul Six. Did you run and attach a triple I on my subject that I attached to my case? Here. 
take the phone call before we leave. Before we leave? Yep. Just let her know. <laughs> my mom sent me my insurance. <laughs> Don't know if that's something needed anymore. Did Hattie call you? I just saw a quick text from her. She said she called you. back of the car and they have to drive me to Colfax to go to the police station. No, my car is, um, it's parked. It's just left where I left it. No, they're not taking my car. Point one the first time and then point zero nine. It's point zero two, but for someone that's twenty one. Under so someone that's twenty one is zero eight. Someone who's under twenty one is zero two. Um, someone under twenty one is uh point zero two. Point zero two. What's the point zero eight? For someone who is over 21 years of age. Someone over 21 is a point zero eight. So. Yours is zero two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the 500 bail, is that something that needs to be like brought in? How do I pay that? Uh, you could do cash or check. Um, Wait, it's what? Cash or check. Those are the only ways? Uh, you can ask the jail, they can provide you better details. Does your mom want the phone number and contact information for the jail? Um, sorry, mom, I just put you on speakerphone. Um, yes. So, do you want the information for the jail? Um, I'm in California, so I can't help her. It's, I'm I mean, trying to figure out cash or someone needs to bring cash or check for me to be bailed out yes or they could possibly do a phone sale i'm not sure about that one okay. but i can provide you the phone number and you can call them and ask them if you want to okay so the phone number for the jail is 509 Okay, zero nine. Three nine seven. One fifty. Five five eight five. Three nine seven, and what were the four last digits? Five five eight five. Okay. So I call that number and ask them if I can pay over the phone. You could ask them what what are your options are essentially. Okay. Okay, I will call them right now, and then how do I refer to Katie? Will they, they, will I just... They know I'll be en route to the jail with her, and I'll be there shortly. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, that you can just have him relay it to the uh, jail staff, and they can relay it to her when she gets there. Will I be able to make okay. another call at all? Yes. Okay. Our jail is really good about working with people. I'll call you when I'm there, I guess. Okay. Okay. Bye. I love you. Love you too. All right. Six seven seven one point six. So, what's that, Kate? Oh, so I can see you. So, so make sure you're not heating your ear or something like that. Just to make sure you're safe. That's all. So, once again, Kate, nothing says you're guilty. You could probably hire a defense attorney that's going to say some amazing things or whatever. I mean, they can say like, Officer or Deputy Corey, you did something wrong. So, I mean, nothing says you're. You're found guilty, nothing says, everything's finalized. All it is is basically a probable cause to make an arrest, that's it. Step to a call six out of jail, ending mileage and ready. Take your time. I'll look away. <laughs> does she have a wallet with her? Okay. You good? Alright. Walk over to him. A few questions for you. Have you had any breathing difficulties recently? Have you experienced a taste? A loss of taste or smell? Do you experience nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea? No. Okay. I'm taking your temperature. Okay. Have you been in contact with anyone diagnosed with COVID-19 or who has been placed in quarantine? Is there any chance you might be pregnant? All inmates will be body scanned to check for contraband. Introduction of contraband such as controlled substances, alcohol, marijuana, other, intra in other intoxicants, cell phones, or other electronics into a correctional facility is a felony criminal offense. You will receive amnesty from criminal charges for introduction of wait, contraband. Wait, wait, what if I, I'm pregnant? I don't care. Okay. You will receive amnesty from criminal charges for introduction of contraband into a correctional facility if you honestly and accurately provide information about any contraband before entering the booking area. Do you have any contraband on you? No drugs, no weapons. Okay. She had some throwing stars. <laughs> what? No, I'm just kidding. One three one. Why are you looking? It's pretty cool. Is it nice? No. Yeah, she tried running from me. <laughs> Didn't work out too well. Fast like lightning.
I think you should. So that you can bail yourself. Okay. Uh, Taylor who? That wasn't a debit card? No. Who is this? Oh. Why, I thought it sounded like Taylor. No, I'm just going to get my PC sheet done like I always do, so. Yeah. Yeah, and then the booking process and stuff. All right. Thank you, bye. Your friend are... called to see if you to check to make sure you had your wallet with you. That's why I asked you if you had your wallet, because your mom's gonna put the money on your debit card. Yeah, it is. Um, it's right. in my Where do you think your debit card is? It's in my car. When we get on this process here, we'll get, let you make a phone call. We want your friends to run it over to you. Well, our keys are right the there. The car's locked. <laughs> oh. The support <laughs> one. Okay. 
Can you just step in this room? Just remove all of your clothes to include your rock panties. Put these on, bring everything out with you. Everything you can have back, I'll give back to you after we're done scanning you, okay?